plus tonight on your award-winning sports loving channel television we're having fun talking sports right here on the program and i want you to be part of the show talk to us so much is going on in our world of sports but we are concerned with expectations for sports in nigeria in 2019 so that's what lead the discussion adare kuti uh, on twitter uh, is saying to us that after football uh the next popular sport in kano is dambe i heard the minister saying we can start doing things that can make dambe more popular more acceptable it's our own traditional boxing and it's got some serious followership in the north so uh, let's talk about expectations for 2019 the minister says he expects development in infrastructure, that's one has been a day one problem. He also mentioned funding. He also mentioned traditional sports that we need to improve in it also. And I totally agree. Football is followed religiously in Nigeria. Everyone loves football in this country. Amadjo Pinnick is the president of the Nigeria Football Federation. He's been talking about plans for football in 2019. Thing. When I got re-elected, I said... Um, in the next four years, it's going to be very decisive on Nigerian football because I said it clearly, after four years, I'm not running again, even though I'm eligible. I've said it, and I'll say it again, again, and again, that, you know, you leave possibly when the ovation is loudest. And um, let me continue playing the global politics. And that um, the next four years, there are going to be a lot of, at the beginning, these are the teaching problems, but there are going to be a lot of improvement. Trust me, the league, the referees, we are going to empower the various committees, the football committee that supervises all the leagues, they are going to be an integral part of the development and the rejuvenation and the rebirth of the league. The LNC, they've been exceptional, but people do not know. If you don't know what they are doing, you will not know. Each year is not exceptional. Well, she will not be in the stakeholders committee in FIFA. That's a very strong committee. It will not be in the CAF Club committee. And I can tell you, before any of their meetings, if they need to lobby anybody, Shea is the first person that they call because they know that it's quite influential in those areas. Then Shea, the, the Dr. Sanusi, Ibrahim, all these members, they believe in what we are doing. And that is why we are headed where we are headed. And the truth is, we say it again, again, and again. When I hear people saying that, uh, oh, there was a Supreme Court judgment, there was this, there was that, that's why I keep saying. I will always thank the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. First, he provided us with a platform for us, for football to develop, for me to be re-elected for the first time, which means there's hope in the future. The President again intervened where he needed to intervene. Let me tell you the salience of that intervention. Look at Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone, I think they were number two in their group before they got kicked out because there was issues like this and they were, they were banned by FIFA. Today they've lost credibility, they've lost money, they've lost a lot of things. Nigeria, imagine when the president intervened. Nigeria was bottom on the log for the nation's cup. His intervention saved Nigeria. We started picking up. Today, that intervention has made us to be number one with a game to spare, qualifying for the Nations Cup. That same intervention also enabled the Super Falcons to win the outcome. That same intervention enabled the under 20 to qualify, the under 17, the beach soccer, all these are qualifications. And you can hear when our sponsors came out to say, <clears throat> the only thing they see in Nigerian football are potentials and progress. That gives us a lot of confidence. And that is the truth. That's why we are always, we always remain indebted. This is not politics, trust me. To the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, not just me, not just the Executive Committee, not just the Congress, but the entire football enthusiastic Nigerians. Look at it from what I've said. Without him, we wouldn't have been going to the Nations Cup. Can you count your losses if we didn't qualify? I will not qualify in the last two editions. So, Mr. President, we always say thank you.